doing. It's this fat guy flies RC coming to you from the man cave. All right, as I promised you, we did the uh, post unboxing layout of sim or uh, look see of the Durafly uh, Tundra uh, V2. And I told you once I got her all together, I would come back and give you a post build video of anything I found, my pros and my cons. Well, let's start with the very beginning of the plane. Um, prop came well balanced. I had actually no problem at all. You've got a nice plastic cow. It nice and solid. Prop went right out with no issue whatsoever. Um, you will have to take their your uh, 40 amp ESC does have a uh, two-sided tape on it so you'll take one piece off and then you'll stick it to the side I do suggest you put in a little bit of velcro or maybe uh, shelf paper or whatever you use to uh, reinforce the Durafly strap that's in there it is not movable it's already glued down you have an XT60 for your ESC um, this magnet um, I didn't have any problem with it some people have but I didn't and I did however have an issue with this side so I just put a little glue in there put a little tape and she's fine that's going to happen all right in here going back down the end of the fuselage this is where you'll put your receiver at as you can see I have an AR620 receiver in there and there's plenty of room for everything you'll need to do you have an included, now we're moving back, you have an included Allen wrench that perfectly works with these connections. You don't have much room to play with, so as you adjust your rudders and your, your, your elevator and your rudder, be mindful that you don't have much room there, okay? So you might want to make sure your servos are nice and centered, then adjust, and then anchor it down accordingly, keeping an eye on them rods, because if they come out, Ask me how hard it is to put those back in. <laughs> it could be a booger bear. There's a little trick to that. If you do get in that situation, you can't get like Undo one arm. Take a pair of needle nose. Slide it on there. Put your Then make sure, as long as your servo is nice and centered, slide your uh, servo arm back on there. And then tighten her back down. And uh, tighten your grub screw down and make sure everything is nice and centered on your control surface then uh, but I, I had that one happen that was a little bit of a problem because there's not much room to get your hand in there all right if you notice right here in this groove you have a way of adding a towing mechanism that would work hook on to the spar which is kind of cool Mo moving back to the end to the tail feathers you have a very good quality laminated hinge on the elevator, the rudder, and all control surfaces, with the exception of the Fowler flaps. Um, one thing I suggest you do when you add, when you put in your tailwheel here, um, put a little drop of CA on this little E clip that holds the end of the wheel on right there. And these two screws that go in that hold the rudder on, or the rudder, the tail wheel on, put a little bit of CA or something on top of those. I got like a really thick gel CA that I like to use. And that way they won't back out and you've got a good solid connection. Now, in the, now the other drawback of this plane is that there are no printed instructions. And then you're going to find in your kit, there's a water rudder that would hook in here. And in that water rudder kit, there's an extra magnet piece for you, probably guess for your screwdriver, that is provided. And there's these two long carbon fiber pieces that have plastic. And I think they're meant, I watched one video, they're meant to just glue on or screw on. But I see no place for them to screw on. Maybe you put a hole right here and screw it in here. But I see nothing in the instructions that mention them and they're with the water rudder so i i would inquire with hobby king about that um you have ball link uh connection on all control surfaces i highly 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 did i say highly let's go with highly suggest you use a ball link pair of pliers 
They're great for taking ball links apart and smashing them together. This plane is only $179, okay? So you don't have the strongest, best ball link uh, in, in the world, but you have, but they are good. And you try smash, and they're, they're very tight, so trying to smash them on with your hands or a pair of pliers is pretty hard. Why not have the tool that makes it a whole lot easier? I think I got this on Amazon for six bucks. Okay. Now, everything, the control rods for the ailerons, the elevator, the rudder, they were almost perfectly trimmed, but I did have to adjust them a little bit to get everything, especially on these ailerons. I did have to, I think I had to screw them in just a little bit to get these ailerons nice and level. Um, but that's, that's, you're gonna have to do that with any model. The idea is that whenever you're done and everything is centered, all your control surfaces should be nice and level. Now, I, the only thing I've done with this plane, I've taxied her around the driveway just to make sure that she uh, everything works right. Um, I can't say anything really bad about it. You've got carbon fiber reinforcement within these wings. There's a carbon fiber rod inside the elevator. I had to take the elevator off at one point and put it back on. There's a elevator or carbon fiber tube that the elevator spar that you get slides into. It was easy for it to come out and I just slid it back in. No big deal. Um, if you notice the model is awfully shiny, that is because I have used, let me show you the product, and I get nothing from these people, but I use this right here. This is a water-based Minwax uh, clear gloss. That's only got one coat on there. Makes it nice and shiny. Uh, it gives you a nice, you know, fingernail resistant coating it doesn't hardly add any weight at all now it is a little tedious these uh vortex generators they have little indentate little slots that are already cut in the foam that you'll just put your drop of your gel ca or foam safe ca or epoxy or whatever you want to use or i guess you could use hot glue but you have to be really really fast and then just put them in they should look like ears like bad ears going up if you can see how they are they should look like they flare up and that's and they all well it's just tea it's because i would glue drop glue drop glue drop and that's what i do i just glue and drop in and this is what i used for that right there and i really like this um it's a rapid fuse it bonds permanently in 30 seconds and it's just basically like a thick ca except it doesn't get brittle like ca does um the landing gear okay go to the underside of the plane Yeah, and that, that stuff, that uh, men wax ha help, really helps with your uh, hanger rash. All right. These, the end of these wheels are just held on with a plastic threaded um, nut. They're just plastic, they just screw on. But they're nice and tight. But you'll have to thread on the wheels. They'll, they'll thread on and they get past a point to where they roll easily. And then you go ahead and put your your plastic nut don't think that's gonna you know that that's more than adequate to hold that wheel on because it's, it's already in, gonna have to hit threads backwards you are provided with the model uh, an allen wrench okay and that allen wrench is to adjust your servos if you need to but uh, your your uh, servo arm linkages but also there's a grub screw that's right here and right here inside this little housing that's what holds these two pieces of metal that right right here together you can see they slide up well there's a grub screw in there that you tighten in to hold uh, this piece of metal that's here in this little housing here and this gives you some nice suspension make sure if <laughs> all the instructions put this center plastic piece or metal piece in before you put in these three these uh, pl plastic plates they only go in one way you know ask me how i know i had to take the whole thing off and then went back because I, I figured i could just bend this and pop it in no no they got to be in before this this metal piece here has to be in before you put these 
the three receiver plates or whatever you want what do you want to call them in also it's very subtle but these struts that are functional if i remember they are labeled okay left or right pay attention because if you put them on wrong they just don't line up right and you have to really work with them and smash them to get them in right ask me how i know on that one so pay attention to that this is where a uh, user manual would be great but we didn't get one so you know but th this model is not hard and, and, in, and any mistake honestly that you make with putting things in is oh let me turn this model around where i can try to hold it with one hand sorry any mistake that you make you can just unscrew and put back in, in the right place so don't fret about it um very nice i didn't do anything with the the provided pv uh box i didn't put that together and you will have extra did they did provide you extra screws um there's also on the connections for your clevises there's these little clevis keepers that are very very handy you get a couple extra of those you get extra screws and see how this is this bag is labeled there were three different size screws and there's over 18 screws you're going to use but don't let that bother you because each there's three different sizes each bag is labeled e-flight fms why can't you do this each bag is labeled and tells you very specifically instructions which screw to grab from which bag so that is helpful well folks i tell you i think in my eyes as far as how this plane went together and the quality that i can see in the plane and and, and everything i think uh hobby king may have redeemed themselves at least with this uh tundra for me oh yeah and the uh floats uh, idiot proof i mean they screw right in everything's obvious how it goes it only goes a certain way you can't really mess it up and uh you can see you can tell by the end of the fuselage that this angled part goes towards the rear and this straight part goes towards the front so you it, you can look at it and tell so the only thing left to do folks for you is get you a maiden and fly this beautiful bird and just see what i think of her as far as her flight performance but the the assembly and it was not a build it was an assembly i mean i had this thing together maybe in an hour but i really took my time and a good 15 minutes that was just putting these vortex generators in all right folks well there you go i can't really think of anything else other than it was a very enjoyable and uh easy assembly um is it the easiest assembly i've ever had no but it was definitely is one of the probably in the top one of the top one of the 10 in the top 10 of easy assemblies and as you can see i have many many planes so <laughs> all right folks y'all have a good and don't forget to like and subscribe and god bless y'all